Hi guys, it's me again. I had videoed something and had intended to have it up actually yesterday and I have spent several hours now trying to figure out where it landed and had to say to heck with it. I will do it again so you get me with a naked face because I wasn't planning on filming anything today. However, this is my number four point in my 30 things of gratitude. The number four point is I am grateful for living in a country where we are allowed to participate in our government by voting. I vote. I have voted. My husband has voted. My family has voted. We are actually done for this voting cycle. We went immediately. Oregon has mail-in ballots. As soon as they came in, they were completed, they were signed, they were dropped at the courthouse drop box. That was it. We were done. Now, that means it's time for the rest of you to decide if you have not voted to get off your butt and get to the polls or fill out your ballot or whichever way your location works with doing a vote. You know, we've got just about any kind of version of voting here. If you're going into a poll and using an electronic machine, please pay attention to make sure that who you are voting for is who the machine is actually recording. If it is not correct, get one of the polling officials to come over and deal with it. This is important. We all need to exercise this right before it becomes any more illegal than it already has over this last election cycle. We have people who are trying desperately to use illegal methods of changing how voting is done and what you have to do to be able to cast your ballot just so that they win. We've got more than one state currently that the person in charge of voting for the state is also on the ballot and is taking extraordinary measures to make sure that some people just plain can't vote. And that is beyond wrong. It really is. It's too much. It needs to stop. We've got voting machines that are changing people's ballots. We've got people who are not being allowed to vote because their address doesn't suit somebody. And this came up just like at the last minute, so it's almost impossible to get it all corrected, to get it all straightened out so that it can be you know, fixed and these people can vote. They've been legally registered for years, and this is happening now. It's got to stop. Now, there's a political cartoon that I use regularly that shows what happens when people say, oh, it, my vote is just one vote. It don't count. Well, let me give you a clue. When it's that many of you saying that, more than half of the voters don't bother. Does that give you a clue? All of you who are saying my vote is just one vote, it won't matter, are collectively a huge block of votes that are not able to be counted because you won't be bothered. It makes a difference, that one 
vote that you get makes a difference because that one vote that you get is added up with everybody else. Your one vote does make a difference. Especially when you're looking at if you got everybody that sat out the last election off their backsides and into the polls, there would have been an enormous difference. A lot of things would have changed and very likely we would not be in the circus we are currently in. Granted, it's usually some sort of circus when you're talking about Congress and government officials, but we need a different sort of circus. We need to get out of the mud show and go back to something like Cirque du Soleil. Yes, I'm a Democrat. Yes, I'm a liberal. Yes, I'm a feisty old woman and a feminist. And if you've got an argument about that, bring it to me. Leave your comment. Go ahead. But if you don't vote, I don't care what you think at all. I don't care if you vote conservative. I don't care if you vote Republican. I don't care if you vote Green Party. Just get off your ass and go vote. Please. Vote like people's lives depend on it because if the medical coverage is cut, it's going to be a case of people's lives depending on it. You, your family, your grandparents. If Social Security is cut, mom and dad are going to come live in your basement to pay you back for all the time you lived in theirs because they won't have the funds to stay out of your basement. It's time to stop this. We've got people that are telling the Native Americans they can't vote because the reservation doesn't have street numbers and standard addresses. They never have. But then again, neither do a lot of rural areas where you've got sometimes just a rural route number and a box. That's not a standard address co considering what they've put into law. There's a lot of people they are cutting out just because they don't live in town. Native Americans, they were here first. It took long enough to get them their voting rights to begin with. And now they're trying to pull this routine. That's enough. We've been fighting this fight over and over and over again. Women were killed and beaten when we tried to get the vote for ju even just the white women. People have been beaten and killed trying to get the vote for the rest of the minorities. And even though we've gotten them now, technically, we have people in the local governments and the state governments and the federal government trying to strip those rights back off again. We are still fighting this particular fight, and it's ridiculous to have to keep doing it over and over again. You saw, if you were paying attention, what has happened with gun control issues. You saw how we got a new Supreme Court justice rammed through the process after the Republican Congress changed the rules so they could. That is not 
where this country belongs at all. It is not legitimate. It is not constitutional. And again, if you don't vote, you're part of the problem. Pick something. Vote. Be involved. Pay attention. Because it does affect you. It affects me. It affects my husband. It affects my grandchildren. It does. It affects us all. And we either use these rights or we lose these rights. If you're ready to give up, that's your problem. Don't take the rest of us down with you. Use your vote. And if you don't, you don't get to complain. If you don't like the outcome, you don't get to complain because you had a chance to try and make it better. If you don't at least try to make it better, you don't get to bitch. Now, I don't have a lot of subscribers, and I may lose a few over this since I'm rather heated. This is a bit of a rant. But yes, I'm grateful that I have a voice in my government. Maybe small, but when you add it up, you get the human megaphone that people have been using for a long time on protests. Haven't ever heard of a human megaphone? Go look it up. It gets used a lot now. Cops will take your megaphone if you're marching around with one. But if you get enough people together to repeat the words of one person, it will be heard. You're one person. You're part of a repeat when you vote. Do you want to be louder? Or do you want to lay down? Go vote. I don't care if it negates my vote. Go vote. Do it. Good night.